Hello. So we have this MacBook precarious on my desk um, because we are attempting to downgrade this really, really bad shape iPad 2 um, with a bulging. I'm not sure if you can tell the battery's bulging and it's pushed up the screen. And this is actually the second screen I've put on this thing because the original screen cracked partly because of the bulge, partly because of my fault. It's a very long story. Um, and actually, this new screen seems to be cracked as well, and I don't know when exactly that happened. Actually, when the original screen on this cracked, um, it was already basically decommissioned um, from daily use, but I just put a new screen on it because they were cheap, and I felt like putting a new screen on it. Um, anyways, this case is uh, never its original case, but I actually kind of like it. The hinge kind of sucks, but the keyboard's really nice, um, and as is the aluminum. Um... I also have a life-proof case that's kind of nice. It helps with the bulging a little bit, and it helps cover up some of this mess. This mess is tape trying to cover up the... I tried to, like, tape it together to stop it bulging the screen out. Anyways, um, so we have this jailbroken, as you can see. This is on iOS 9.3.5. Um, 9.3.5 maybe. Um, we had Phoenix. I jailbroke it way long ago with Phoenix using, uh, Alt Store. Because I, we, it's not long enough ago for Cydia Impactor to work. Or maybe I used Cydia Impactor first and did it again with Alt Store. I don't know. I think I've tried to use Alt Store before and I kind of hate it. I also kind of hate Cydia Impactor, but I hate it less. Um, I hate all these things because I hate iTunes. Um, and they all need iTunes. And I really don't like having it installed on my computer. But anyways. Um, Alt Store doesn't work anymore. Because this is running 9, and Alt Store needs 12. And um, there's apparently a workaround using an Alt Store patcher, but I tried that and I couldn't get it to work, and I wasted tons of time on that. And I eventually just gave up and used Sketchy Panda Helper to install different Phoenix, which allowed me to jailbreak it. So now this is jailbroken, and so this should hopefully be workable. Uh, this These instructions are kind of confusing. I'm not entirely sure if I just need OpenSSH, which I do have, or if I need to do other stuff. So we're just going to try it with OpenSSH first, and we'll see. Um, so I just ran the script once, and it installed a bunch of random garbage. Uh, it installed, like, old version of Python and stuff. Um, please put the device... The device is in normal mode. Um... Huh. Huh. Um, so it's not working, which is fun. I love it when it doesn't work. Um... I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. Should I run it as root? This isn't an A7 device. This is an A9 device. Um, we're going to run this as root. Um, typing with one hand is hard. And no difference. Um, try a different USB port. You can try a different cable. This cable's not in the best shape. None of my 30 pin cables are in the best shape, they're all too old. Hmm. 
We're gonna use this guy's uh, repo. Okay, so I got it to work. It's currently downloading iOS 6. Um, I plugged in Ethernet so it would go a little faster. Um, I tried three different USB cables in total. I have two currently plugged in. Um, I did put it in uh, KDFU mode. Um, I, I used the app from the Cydia repo. And then we went ahead and I just kind of pushed harder on this cable because the, the metal on the case is a little bit bent out. Again, the iPad's in very bad shape. Um, and we were able to get it to show up. Um, it's doing something. Cool. Um, I don't know what it's doing. It said something before it started doing this. I think it was asking me how much storage the iPad had. It's a 16 gigabyte. Um... Hopefully we don't run out of space. This is a tiny partition. So we, we shouldn't run out of space. Start to delete stuff. There's not a, uh, there's a lot of stupid ISOs on here. We can start deleting stupid ISOs. Um, There we go. That should be enough. I don't think it'll need more than nine gigabytes to deal with old iOS versions. Um, yeah. I really don't know what it's doing. I guess it's copying stuff. It's sector sizes, so it's dealing with like disk images or something, but I, I just, oh. Done. It, is it? Oh, it's making a disk image. It's packing a disk image. Yeah, so it was doing disk image stuff. DMG is an Apple disk image file. Um, writing free partition. Is it writing to the iPad right now? I, I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Um, I did not read this script before I ran it, which is, uh, what's it called? It's the joke everyone always makes. It's like, oh yeah, download this script from GitHub, run it as root without reading it. Oh, now your whole computer's encrypted. Um, uh, <laughs> it's fine. There's nothing important on this computer. Um... Yeah, it, it's, it did want root password of PC or Mac when prompted, but it's running as root, so it doesn't need one. Also, root password of PC or Mac, this doesn't run on PC. I, I guess they count Linux as PC. They could have just said root password of computer. Oh, it's booting. It's the old Apple logo. Cool. About to restore device. Yeah, this wipes your device, which kind of sucks, because... Um, what's it called? The, the, this device has never been wiped since I got it. Um, I, I bought this new. Um, it's part of why it's in so bad shape. It was used really heavily um, for many years. Also, it's just in bad shape because it's in bad shape. The battery swelling isn't my fault. Um, but, like, the case being bent out is probably my fault. Um, somehow, something. I, it, it's just use. It's wear and tear. Um, no, uh, yeah, again, a lot of the things, the screen cracking was made, it was made more likely to crack because the glass was under tension because of the battery. Um, it's, I don't think it should have cracked. It's, it's the, the story of how it cracked is that an iPhone, um, fell on it from about pocket height. Um, it, I had left it on the floor stupidly, um, because I had been working on it and working on the floor instead of my desk, um, and I had an iPhone 4, um, 
that was a hand-me-down and it fell out of my pocket and hit the screen and the screen just went boom because again this one's cracked as well and i have no idea what happened to it i think they just crack on when they're it's really quite under tension it's quite blown out the, the, the battery is really swelling i should probably replace it but yeah